you're our director. Say action. That was a lot of enthusiasm. Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to our first video. Please go easy on us. I've been drinking. So I have a case of the giggles. <laughs> to make everything better. Make it much more entertaining. Just to let you know, I am not a cologne expert. He is. I don't really give a shit about cologne. I do like men who smell good, that is important. And our daughter is being our director, she is six. So, there's three fragrances we're going to, re we're going to review today. <laughs> and another drink. They're pretty random other than they're fairly new to my collection. So these are not things that she's necessarily smelled recently. So that's why we're, we picked these three. But it's just to kind of get the channel started and get things going. So with that, you ready to smell? I'm ready to drink and smell. Okay. Yeah, do I'll do no, the spray and me the display. First one, Versace for home, Oud Noir. Get a couple sprays. Mm. And we'll get an impression. The first impression? First impression. This is the opening, obviously. You just saw it. This is not one that I like. <clears throat> Tell us why. Um, it kind of smells like an old man. Okay. Or an old woman. Either either way, it's it's very perfumey. I think that's my new one. Okay, bye. It's my new daddy. What kind of guy wears this? Old, just an old guy. I don't know. Like somebody who's trying too hard, maybe. Like this just doesn't smell very manly. Remember, this is the opening, so you're getting a lot of this. This is not what you're gonna smell necessarily later, but whenever I wear it, I find it does kind of stay linear throughout. You get the same, most of the same smell. This is just not for me. I do sense a little bit of smokiness to it, mm -hmm. and you know I'm Oud not noir. a fan yep. of the smoky oud. smells. A little bit of burnt wood. Oh, this is a very wearable, soft oud. This is nothing, this is, of all ouds, this is a, up there with the most pleasant. The dry down is getting a little bit better. It's not as strong. I think at first it always smells a lot like alcohol, and but it's still got, still got a little bit of an old, I find it older a bit... dude smell, like maybe <clears throat> somebody in his fifties who has like a wife with like black rimmed glasses. I mean, that's a pretty good description. I find this <laughs> to be of all a lot of the things I have surprisingly very flowery. Yes, that's why I said it's. I think I said it's kind of feminine, a yes, little lady. Exactly. I'm not impressed with this at all. I say it is not sexy. Okay, not sexy. If I smelled it on someone, I would be confused. <laughs> if I smelled it on you a man, a guy or a girl I would or... be confused on why they're smelling this. Not in a good way confused. You're not intrigued. You're um, just like, why? Right. What are they? Are they wearing perfume? Is, it, is it because it smells like a? Um, yeah, it smells like perfume. Like a room smell, or it does smell like something somebody would be wearing. It smells like a perfume okay. an old lady would wear. So it's more feminine to you. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Very sweet. Is this one that you like? I do. Oh, I do like it. Of course. Why do you like it? <clears throat> it's quite different than a lot of things that I have. Um, it reminds me of some things, um, and then others it just doesn't. It's just, it's more unique. Uh, I give it a lot of things. Are you going to give a rating? Scale of one to ten. Are we doing pizza review ratings? Yeah, you can go decimal points. And <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm not into this kind of smell. You know the kind of smells I like, so... Well, just, just gauge it, like... I give it, like, a... No, 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 before you throw something out there. Ten is the best. You can't be, beat it. It's, ten is your all-time favorite. Five is just, like, it's just average. And then, so, if it's above average, go above five. Okay, well, I was going to say four and a half. Okay, four and a half. Four point five. Okay. That's a good rating. On That's the... a good rating? No, I just mean, like, it's a solid, like, you gave a good... It's not a BS rating. What event would you wear that to? Is this a daytime, nighttime for you? What does this mean? This is this is a little bit better than casual. I would I would feel a little bit more dressed up with this one. And I don't, it's versatile to be day or night. You can wear this to work. You can wear this on a date. I feel like this it's, is it's, smell it again. It's getting it's getting a little spicier as it goes down. I feel like you would wear this to a wedding where you're not really trying to 
<clears throat> attract depends anyone. Depends on who you are. You're not trying to get you're single, sex. You're... you're just trying to go to a nice event and not smell like a dirt bag. Yeah, it, sm it just smells good and clean and fresh and without being a freshie. And it's mostly that woody, kind of a little bit spicy, peppery something. I do not think it smells clean and fresh. I think it smells like an old lady. There you go. Well, that's why we have And I would not appreciate it if anyone was on, <clears throat> if anyone was wearing that. All right, so it's a little bit polarizing. Some people like it, some Wait, people don't. Wait, did you say which one that was? Uh, yes, this is Versace, okay. Boron, Boudoir. Okay. okay. Um, we'll go to the next one. Please. Let me show the bottle. Go on this next before I spray <clears throat> it. It's the Antonio Banderas, Banderas oh. Blue Seduction Celebrity Fragrance. Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. <laughs> it's going to smell like seduction. Already makes me think of sex. Well, good. Because it's Antonio. Well, you didn't know that though before. Maybe he was wearing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. Do you feel like the color plays into how you perceive the smell? Does it feel like a blue, clean scent? Refreshing, watery, anything like that? It is watery. It is like Caribbean. <clears throat> to me, like we're at a resort, Margaritaville or okay. something. Okay, okay. It's like really, it's really good. It's, it's really got good. some sweetness to it. Yeah. I can picture Antonio Banderas because our child white is, shirt. Because our child is playing Puss in Boots in the yes. other room sure. and I can hear. With a white shirt open. Yeah, I yeah. would. Yeah, careful. Good. That's good. good. I give it for, like. No, no, no! You can't jump to the grading. Uh, does, so you kind of. Uh, what kind of? What kind of age is this? A younger guy, an older guy, um, business guy, casual. Fun? I think this is an older guy, like thirty-five plus. That's not that much. That's not old. Okay. Well, I'm saying it's not like a super young. It's older. You get like the melon in here. <clears throat> like melon, citrus melon. Something. Yeah. It's really good. Okay. This is the kind of scent I really like on a dude. Because this would probably it's something you would like to wear. catch my attention mm. because I like the smell and I would have to turn my head and look and say, what is that guy wearing? Because he smells a, good or he smells hot, sexy. And B, he smells like I want to lick him. Okay. So it is seductive, a sexy smell. Yes. Okay. So it's not necessarily, I feel like a lot of girls say, I like that. And then it's just because it's something they would want to wear themselves. I mean, I, I probably could smell. wear this, but yeah. no, I think it's good for, for like a nightclub. So if you smell this on a skin, like a on skin. like a first date. So if you come in next oh, to a guy, yeah. you're kind of, okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, good. I, I think it's a good daytime scent. I think it's good for office too. But yeah, daytime, it's, she's calling it sexy. So yeah. Uh, give me that rating. Like if you could make your smell like that, that would be excellent. Um, I give it like an... I give it like a 9.5. 9.5. That's extremely high. <clears throat> we'll, we'll take it. Yeah. All right. Uh, very anxious here. All right, now the wait, next are one. these new to you or are these new to the world? No, these are new to, to me. These are, oh, okay. Th these are not new. Some of these are actually uh, fairly old as I was going to say, Antonio Banderas, I would think he... That's it's been around for a little bit. Fairly. This next one's been around a little bit longer. This is uh, Azaro Boron. Silver black. This is like a version, like a, uh, a flanker of Azara Boron, the classic. Did you say a flanker? A flanker, yeah. It's like a, not a sequel, but a kind of a variation to the original. Oh. So there's an older uh, cologne or fragrance, because it's not actually cologne strength, it's EDT. Uh, Azara Boron, and then this is a updated, more modernized version now, something like that. So we'll give a couple sprays here. We'll get a... I feel like just looking at the bottle, it's trying to be sexy. Okay. Do one more. Okay. Mm. Mm. It smells like spearmint gum. Okay, so there's like a freshness to it. Yeah. Not 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 necessarily menthol freshness, but. It's like a yeah. It's like a it's like a gum, like or a maybe sweet, herbal, herbal freshness. Minty gum. I think like herbal freshness. Mm. Like a green plant. Freshness. It might have like like a fern. It's nice. 
I feel like this is probably more of a daytime smell. Mm -hmm. Like wear it to work. I agree. Business, casual. It's very clean and fresh. You're still fresh and still clean. A, bit, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is good. When I smelled this earlier, I didn't like it. So I wonder what has changed. The amount of sprays. I bet you only spray it one time. I did only spray it one time. Yep. Yeah, it definitely is a daytime. Definitely a younger guy could wear this. You, you feel it. Just Older guy could wear this. It's very... Um, commenting on your on your on what you said about um, the fact that it's not as strong or you had the problem smelling for something. It, it does kind of have a subtleness to it that the others don't. I mean, it's not as biting or, you know... It's very, like, sophisticated. Very, okay. like, smart. Understated. Like, worker. Like, not worker. Um, not blue collar. Like, white collar. White collar. Okay. <laughs> Don't give me the giggles again. All right. What are you laughing at? <laughs> um, yeah, blue collar would not wear this. White collar would wear this. You know, this isn't this isn't too bad. It's not as good as Antonio. It almost has like a little bit of that spa smell that I really like. You know, when you walk into a hotel. There's a greenness to it. Yeah, yeah you know, good. I like the green ones. So I'm going to be biased toward the green ones. But I would give this like a... Can I rate it now? Sure. I would give this like an 8.2. Yeah, and it sounds like, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. And it sounds like <clears throat> on the right guy, this could be quite sexy. Okay, there's our three. Okay, well. <clears throat> Hope everybody found that helpful, inspiring, uh, life-changing maybe, in fact. But uh, most of all, we just wanted, we needed something to do on these. Uh, Coronavirus days. Yeah, where we don't have much else to do. In, outside of the house. All right. All right. What's our closing statement? Um, Those were three good scents, except for the Versace one. Oh, a recap of the okay. Um, the Versace, no, thank you. That was scored in the low, the four and a half, if I remember correctly. Yeah, four and a half range. The blue seduction was a nine point five. That's a whole new bend on us. And the Zara Upper Home was eight point four. Um, eight point two. Eight point two. Um. So yeah. All right. Well, there you go. First video done. Okay. Bye. Bye.